Hi guys, this is Miss Crafty B. Today, I'm going to show you how to make these envelopes that you can use year round for any event. For materials, you will need the ones in red, and depending on the envelope you are making, you will either need the green materials or orange. So, first, let's create the envelopes, and I am cutting a square that measures 6.5 inches on all sides. So, then you're going to cut it. And once you have your square, you will turn it around so it can become a diamond. Once you have your diamond, fold it in half. But when you crease it, only crease the middle. Just like this. Just crease the middle. And lightly crease it. Don't press hard. And you will do this on the other side as well. On the opposite side. Okay, so once you unfold it, you will have a cross. And that's going to be your mark point. Um, you will fold one of the edges and you will fold it over the middle. Only a little bit, but fold it over the middle. Once again, the middle, you're going to go over it. Just a little bit. And you're going to do the same amount for all three sides. So you're going to leave one flap open. So you're going to go over the middle on all three. So basically it's going to be even on all of them now. Because they're going to go over Okay, so for the final step, we're going to glue all the sides. Um, it's just put glue on the ends. So try to get those corners really good so it could stick. And these are your envelopes. Just let them dry and that's it. Okay, so this is the first design I'm going to show you. For this design, the extra materials you will need are a punch hole, a stamp, and a string. We're going to measure a rectangle measuring 6.5 inches by 4.5 inches. Cut it and round the edges. So now you can place the envelope in the middle or I did mine more diagonally. And all you have to do now is decorate. Put a heart and then I punched holes with a pink paper. Put them around a little, like a little bit of rain falling, pink rain falling or something. And then I tied a string and that's it. The second design is going to be a quilling method. You're going to need um, seven pieces of paper, the thumbtack, and paint. Optional. So we're going to cut out five strips of paper measuring half a centimeter. And three yellow. Once we have the individual strips, we're going to um, roll them all around our thumbtack. And this is going to help you just start it off. So then we're going to continue rolling it with our fingers once we have started it off. Once rolled, press down on them lightly, then let them unwind a bit, pinch both sides, then glue them into place. For the yellow pieces, do not pinch the sides. Leave them circular, let them unwind a little bit, and glue them in place. Tip, if you're having trouble wrapping the paper on the thumbtack, then just curl the paper with the thumbtack and begin to curl with your hands. To make this flower, place three yellow quills in the middle, four red quills around, and optional, you can place one in the back to hold the flap. Paint the stem and the leaves on, and, and voila! envelopes for any occasion. 